and welcome to another episode of Go Fraser Valley. But this time, it's full of love. In lieu of this romantic, mushy-gushy time of year, I thought I would master the ways of a florist and make the most beautiful flower arrangement you've ever seen. I mean, what else would my boyfriend want for Valentine's Day? So since I don't know the first thing about making floral arrangements, I have here with me Elka Amgel. She's the owner of Flora Bunda Flower Shop and you've also been in the industry for quite some time, is that right? I have been. I took my first class when I was 13. Wow. So that was just a little a playful class, but I was hooked. Really? So. What do you like most about it? Um, I like working with the people. Um, flowers, they can make a good day better and they can make a really bad day Good. So what do you have in this beautiful store of yours? Well, we have obviously cut flowers, yeah. it's a flower shop, mm -hmm. and then I have a lot of tropical plants because I'm re I really enjoy tropicals and it's sort of a, a reflection of what I like yes, in here, I yeah. guess. You always have I also to have, that. have um, local um, products made by some people here in Chilliwack, some jewelry from a lady that makes it in Mission, uh, Marilyn Fraser. Of Recapture jewelry. Okay. And nuts from Nuts on the Run in Promontory. They roast their own nuts. Delicious. And I have some cards here made by um, Hug and Kiss Designs and jewelry made by Margaret Stevens. So basically all local stuff. Local stuff. Yeah, is that I'd important love, to you? Yes, yeah. it is very important to me. How come? Um, I just really like to support the local people yeah. and uh, really encourage small business. So that's you know, awesome. So what is the most popular flower arrangement that you usually make? Flowers come in a variety of designs and there is, there's always the traditional rose bouquet. I am trying actually to talk customers into mixed bouquets. Roses get fairly expensive on Valentine's Day. So it's, all, it's a beautiful mixture with other flowers. Yes, yeah. And it, um, the color combinations can be really Gorgeous. Makes it so you much beautiful. You still have the roses in the bouquets and you get a great value for your money. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what would you say if I wanted to make a bouquet of flowers for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day? I think that's a great idea. Really? Yes. Is it weird? Does anybody do no, that? No, it's um, actually not that uncommon. Uh, a lot of people do come yeah. in and order things for their boyfriends I, or for I, their husbands. I would have or, never thought that. We just uh, do the style a little differently. We don't make it quite as fluffy, and yeah. quite as feminine. Well, now we can make a personal one for my boyfriend and make a manly bouquet of flowers. Okay. Is that good? Absolutely. Okay, let's go do that. We need to decide what kind of a design you want. Do you want a round design or do you want something maybe like that? that if we use foam, okay, the flowers foam will sounds stay exciting. Where you put them. Perfect, let's okay. do that. You know, the funny thing is about flower design is that often I'll take a container and let the container sort of decide what happens. That's so interesting. It, it really, it's amazing how it happens. Like, that's that's like kind artist. of cool too. With their, like, with their canvas, you know? Works the same yeah. way, yeah. That's cool. That's I like too. that, yeah. We have great leaves here, great greens here. Those Look are at this. really pretty. Are they neat? Oh, yeah. and you just cut them right here? It's like your own little garden. <laughs> So, so we have the next? container, okay. and we did cut some greens, but the colors don't mesh. Okay. So we'll do we'll use the Italian ruscus for the greens. Okay, that'll look really good. So um, we'll we always green the containers first, okay. and then we put the flowers in. Oh gosh! So this might take some time. It takes a few minutes. <laughs> so okay, you want to start the greens always go in the back. Yeah. Um, an arrangement always starts. Like it's always a rosette, okay. a little bit, okay. right? Even though we're doing a line like this. Yeah. So start with the green in the back okay. here. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Vertical, you okay. want it facing like front. This. Okay. Okay. Always work with the green. Yeah. The curve of the green. Next one's going to go down like this a bit. Okay. okay. So, so which one? Show we'll me. Actually use this. Okay. Here. And 
that can go in. I didn't know making floral arrangements was so technical. Like there's actually oh, a is. way to there, do it. There are rules in not hard and fast yeah. rules, but there are there are rules. Rule guides. I right? thought it was just talent. Let's go find our orchid here. Let's go find the orchids. That's okay. Here. Now we want orchids are my favorite. They're so beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. And they're grown locally. Really? These are called young pao, Okay. Which translates into young woman, I guess. Beautiful. Anyway, we'll take a nice wide open okay. one here. And we normally start from the bottom up. Okay. But some of them are quite small. So. Okay. This one too. Well, Alexandria, it's getting close to being finished. What do you think? It's so beautiful. I think you'll love it. Yeah. Do you? I hope Does it, so. I think it looks manly enough. I think it looks very manly. But you know, there's always so much controversy over Valentine's Day. You either, you either love it or you hate it. Do you think it's a gender thing? I think women are, women are more emotionally involved in yeah, Valentine's Day. I agree. And I think guys tend to play along with it a little more. But it's it's a nice little celebration of yeah. love, right? You know what? For I'm both gonna go genders. find out for myself and get down it's to a good the idea. real answer. <laughs> okay, so Kayla, what do you think about Valentine's Day? Um, I like it. I think it's a good idea. It's you know, people get to show their love and share a special moment together. But that being said, I've never really done much for it. <laughs> oh, do you have any plans for this Valentine's Day? I don't. My boyfriend's out of the country, so I'm staying at home with my dog. Oh, eating but chocolates? He's a good Valentine's. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I think Valentine's Day is a little commercialized, but I love the idea of the flowers and the chocolates, but I think it's a lot more romantic. It's like the day before and throw you off guard. And do you have any plans, or do you, do you think it's going to be a surprise? No, it's always the same. As long as I get candy, I'm okay. <laughs> Perfect. I think Valentine's Day is a great day to let that special someone know you really care about them. Do you have anything planned for a special someone? If I don't, I should now, so I'm going to put some thought into that today. <laughs> Perfect. the mechanics. Okay. Down a bit further. So you don't see the tape. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Elka, give it to me straight. I think I'm done. How did I do? You did an amazing job. Yeah? Good job. You think? Really nice. So basically what you're saying is that this gift will make my boyfriend stay with me forever and never leave me? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> And that ends this week's episode of Go Fraser Valley. I know, I'm sad too, but we can rekindle our love on Facebook and Twitter, and I'll be waiting for all your love poems and love letters. And if you have any story ideas, make sure to email us at go underscore Fraser Valley at shaw.ca. And now, to see what my boyfriend thinks.